What's going on guys, it's Patrick here, and welcome back to another Top 10. Slowly but surely, we are going to get used to saying that. Today guys, we are going to be looking at the Top 10 Most Useless Gobble Gum of All Time. 10 Gobble Gum Worse Than Licensed Contractor Itself. Now you guys might consider useless to mean something different as to what I mean, so let me explain what I mean by a useless gobble gum. This list is going to be comprised of gums that either just have useless effects or have been replaced by better gobble gum. There's a lot of gobble gum that used to be good, and with the additions of new ones, the desired effects have actually been tweaked and changed so that the original gobble gums have completely lost their value. For example, why would you use respin cycle when you could just use an immolation? Now, of course, you still have to factor in the overall effect as to what the gobble gum is actually doing, but there are certainly some gobble gums that meet this criteria. Anyways, though, guys, this is going to be 10 gobble gum worse than licensed contractor. Let's do it. All right, so coming in at our number 10 spot, let's just get this one out of the way. It's the Whimsicles. I don't want to be mean here. I don't need to be rude. I could easily put this in at the number one spot, but the Whimsicles are obviously the most useless gobble gum ever, and that's the point of them. So I didn't want to go ridiculously hard on these gobble gums. I think they're very cool. It's awesome that Treyarch actually added in just a for fun use gobble gum. I'm a big fan of that. And obviously they are terrible, but I didn't want to go too hard on these gobble gums because that is the point of them. Anyways, all whimsicles are terrible, but I think we already know that. Now moving down to our number 9 spot guys, this is going to be the Gobble Gum Impatient, a gum that on the surface seems useful, but is actually very pointless. So how Impatient works is basically what it does is while you're holding it and you bleed out, so you down and you, you totally die, you will spawn back into the round that you died out on, on the last zombie. So obviously useful in solo, you're playing with your teammates and they have one zombie left, you will then spawn in and be able to go get all your stuff, pick everything back up, and continue on with your game. It's useful because you don't spawn in on the next round with nothing but an MR6, but the problem with this gobble gum is it's very obvious that there's better gobble gums for this issue. So the first gobble gum that completely trumps this and makes it, it makes impatient absolutely pointless is arms grace. When you bleed out, you spawn back in with your guns. Why would you need impatient to spawn in with an MR6 when you can just use arms grace and actually get your guns back? The other gobble gum that makes impatient useless is coagulant. If you have a longer bleed out time, you're not gonna bleed out and then you get your guns anyways. Like what's the point of using impatient when you can use these other two better options? Number eight, and I'm ashamed to say that this is an ultra rare mega, we have Secret Shopper. How Secret Shopper works is it makes it so that if you have any gun and you go up to a wall buy, you can actually buy ammo for it. It doesn't matter what gun you have, any wall buy is compatible with your current gun. Except for Wonder Weapons. What is the point? What What is the point? Like, literally, the only thing this gobble gum would be useful for is getting more Wonder Weapon ammo, but you can't use it on Wonder Weapons. Why does that exist? I could use a max ammo gobble gum. I could use an alchemical. I can't see any practical use for Secret Shopper when these other gobble gums exist. It just seems completely pointless. It's a huge waste of an Ultra Rare Mega, and it comes in at number eight. Number seven, board games. A gobble gum that is literally worse than licensed contractor. So how board games works is basically you go up to the barrier, you press square, and it automatically repairs it. Whoa, it's like a licensed contractor, okay? The fact that it is even, like, I don't even know where to begin with how useless this thing is. It's Black Ops 3, okay? We're beyond the age of trying to keep the zombies out. We understand that that doesn't work. So what's the point of using this gobble gum? I mean, at least a licensed contractor gives you 200 points, but this thing is literally a dumbed down version of licensed contractor. Moving down to number six, guys, we have a pick that I am very sad about, but looking at it objectively, I had to put it on this list. It's killing time. Once great gobble gum has slowly over time been reduced to being absolutely pointless. Can anyone tell me a, a single use besides Codename Pizza's Myth Busting Mondays, a, a reason why you would use Killing Time? 
to freeze time to stop the zombies from coming to you. There's so many better options. You've got Undead Man Walking, you've got Idle Eyes, which will just make the zombies completely stop, and even Fear and Headlights has a ton of really good uses, but the thing is, is Killing Time has just been replaced by all these other gobblegums. It's a really sad thing, rip my boy Killing Time, but it's basically been rendered useless now. Number five, always done swiftly. It's a gobble gum that makes you aim faster. What do I even say about this thing? You've got attachments for that. Why do you need a gobble gum to help you aim faster? Like of all the things, even classics, you've got in plain sight, you know, save your life. You've got alchemical, give you more ammo. You choose to run, always done swiftly. I've just never seen a practical use for this gobble gum. So for that reason, it's on this list. Number four, respin cycle. So I said this in the intro, Respin cycle doesn't really have much of a use. Let's be honest, okay? With respin cycle, you hit the box, you don't like what you get, you go respin, and you get a new try. But here's the thing there's a gobble gum out there, and you're not gonna like me when I say this. It's called immolation. And it actually gives you three fire sales, which is the equivalent of 12 to 15 box hits per player. So in total, you can get up to 60 box hits with just one gobble gum. And you're out here using a respin cycle? Really? Like, you're, you're, you're playing checkers while us with the immolations over here are playing chess. <laughs> Immolation is cheaper and you get more box hits. I just can't see any reason as to why you would need the alternative. Moving down to our number three spot, guys. This is going to be unbearable. This gobble gum is so bad, I can hardly even bear it. I think I actually said that joke before. Never before have I seen such an absolutely pointless gobble gum than unbearable. You know what it does? It's big claim to fame as a mega gobble gum is when you get the teddy bear in the box and you're holding the gobble gum, it doesn't leave. But not only that, it'll stay for at least two more hits. What this gobble gum should do is it should permanently lock the box down. But nope, all it does is give you a few extra hits on that location. I'm sorry, but did you just did you just not hear my rant about immolation? Why does anyone ever use this thing? There's no reason. There's no reason whatsoever. Absolutely useless. Waste of your gobble gum slot. Unbearable. More like unusable. But in all seriousness, this gobble gum is as good as my jokes. Moving down to our number two spot, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be crawl space. The gobble gum that turns zombies into crawlers. Now when this gobble gum originally came out, people actually said it had some use because on a single map, for a single buildable, for a single step, it was useful. For building the void bow under Eisendrak, there's a step where you have to take crawlers, put them, and like let these skulls eat them. It's the, the, the vase step. And, um, you know, that's okay. That's one reason to use it. But for real, Crawlspace, why are you taking up a spot in my Liquid Divinium opening? Like, we've been grinding for these Liquid Diviniums, and, and, and then you're just gonna give me this? This is my reward for playing zombies all the time? A Crawlspace? Okay, okay, fair enough. But that's, that's not cool. That's all I gotta say. But anyways, guys, moving down to our number one spot. We have a Gobble Gum that I completely forgot about. That this even existed. Now you see me. Really? This, 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 this exists. The gobble gum now you see me makes it so that for 10 seconds, all zombies will chase the player. Wait, is that, is that right? Are, are you sure? So for every solo player, it makes the zombies do exactly as they would normally do. Furthermore, it's the second to last gobble gum to be unlocked before prestige. And did I mention what it does? Okay, so it makes the zombies stop attacking every player except for one. It's basically the opposite of an in plain sight, which is good. So why would I want to do the opposite of that? The only use I can see for this gobble gum is like a player saying, yo, I'm gonna go down or something like that. And then it makes all the zombies go away from him and go to another player. Um, but there's monkey bombs, there's idle eyes, undead man walking, fear in headlights, even a killing time. Or the player that's about to go down could just use it in plain sight. This gobble gum is just the epitome of uselessness. Its effects are pointless, and there's many, many better alternatives. 
I genuinely want to know how this can be used in an effective way. Like, if you know, comment down below because I just, I, I've never seen anyone actually use this in, in a meaningful way. Anyways, though, guys, that is going to be the video for today. I'm sorry if, if I, I triggered you, but it's just, it's a video that had to be said, man. There's some gobble gums that have just been made, point, made pointless, and I, it's sad, I know, but it's the way she goes. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you later. Peace out, you freaking nerds.